Bless the love my lion empress. I am the honorable prophet Jack Creation, coming to reason about race in Latin America. I consider myself uh, an African in a South American land, where the Spaniard colonizer called Peru. And our African descendants, same way, so certain traditions and habits still remain the same, but some of them have been disturbed and altered because of the result of colonialism. Uh, we have Africans from them time, freely, before slavery, before colonialism. And we have Africans who come with the Spaniards or with the colonizer, you know, who bring African people as slaves. And they are the ones who eventually will integrate the society in South America, what you call Peru, you know. The land originally is called Tawantinsuyo by the indigenous people of the land. And uh, after the colonizer take over, he renamed the land Peru. Because he never knew how to speak the language. So he has to create a name for himself so he can identify the land as his land, you know, and not for the indigenous people of the land originally. So it is a big impact, create a lot of self hatred. Um, it creates a lot of, you know, um, shame. It creates what you call propaganda amongst black people. Because we grow up ashamed of being Africans, of being African descendants, of have anything related to Africa. You consider it is bad, ugly, negative. And anything that's considered a European or close to European, even when you are still an indigenous person, you still consider it better because you look closer to the European man than, than the indigenous man or the black man himself. So it's a preference, it's a discrimination against black people and against their own indigenous people because of white supremacy rule the land. So this affects society till today. Children grow ashamed to be black, not for them turn, not for them trying to change, not for them trying to um, imitate the white man ways, not for them trying to be white when they can never be white. So it affects the children's mentality, you know, psychologically, emotionally, ultimately physically. Um, me personally experienced racism from early age. I come from two backgrounds. I come from a uh, my father is an indigenous man, and my mother is an African woman, African descendant. So, for me, it was hard because I belong to the world. I belong to the black and I belong to the brown. The only best choice you can have is white. But it's hard because we now are white. So automatically you're trying to, what you call, transform yourself or transform yourself in a different thing, you know? You straight up your hair, you reject your hair, even when your hair is not fully African or kinky, as you say, as people say. Even when your hair just only curly, curly, it's still considered black, because you have some black blood in you, so that is negative, that is bad. So now for the people that go and turn to bleaching, straightening them hair, refusing themselves, refusing them African, um, tradition and African descendants, you know, not for them, they are not considering themselves Africans. Not for them, want to consider themselves Spaniards, because this is the colonizer, you know, who come and bring white supremacy to the land. Not for them, refuse their own indigenous tradition, you know, which is the, uh, it was the Inca people who used to rule the land in them time. In them time, it was peace and joy, black men still living around the land in, in free, and, and free to move, and free to speak, and free to practice in tradition. But after colonization, everything changed. So, affect us very, very, very bad from them time till now. Affect us terrible in schools, in restaurants, in society in general. You know, we are very discriminated. So, um, for my personal observation is through studies about myself because you have to understand why supremacy why supremacy rules everything rule the media rule the schools the educational system rule 
everything, TV, everything is white supremacy. The soap operas, the national programs, the national movies. You don't see black people, you don't see brown people. Most of the people, these light-skinned people who look like the European people, but not for them. They are very discriminated. So um, when I went to school, I was never satisfied with what they was teaching me at the time. Some of them things never make sense. Some of them things I have to study for myself. I have to go and research, find out about African history, African tradition, so I could identify myself with some of them. But the man who really great a great impact in my life, it was the right honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. The man said the greatest prophet born for the womb of a black woman. This is a man who come and teach me loving myself. It's a man who teach me about my heritage, a man who teach me about not only African people, but he showed me how to learn about myself because I have to learn about myself to reach my root. So I have to study about my daddy's side, which is the indigenous side, and find the connection with the African people. So after Marcus Gabby introduction to my life, things are changing now. Because I have more interest in reading. I have more interest in knowledge. And this has, it's a thing I, I was refusing for years in school because of the educational system is ruled by white supremacy. Everything we see in the world is black or white heroes. The same colonizer, the same man who come and kill us and rob us and violate us, is the same man who turned out to the, the hero. Is the same man who give us freedom. Is the same man who give us independence. Is the same man who we admire and worship. Is the same man that we pray when we sit on our knees. Because remember, they brought religion, they brought Christianity. They brought Bible in a different way, in a different form, in an evil way. We um, control the people, to manipulate the people. So uh, we pray a white God, we worship a white Jesus. Every image we see in school is white queen, white prince, white hero. So I was never satisfied because I never see my people. I never could identify myself with the people in the world, or so with the heroes. And when I start reading history, I find out that all these people never give us fully independence, never care for the people of the land, nor for the black, nor for the brown. So that gave me more, encouraged me more to seek knowledge and find out the truth, you know? Find out that everything that they teach me in school is a lie. They teach me about Christopher Columbus. He discovered America. They teach me that we were uh, we were um, uncivilized people running around the land naked without knowing how to talk, without knowing how to feed our children and take care of our land, which is a lie. We are in contact with Africans, so we were really, we, we are, and then time we were very developed because we have close, very close contact with the African people. So, but the African people are still living in the land, and until today, you can still go and visit the land and find the tradition that they brought from Africa is still there today. So you have some of the people who encourage me to keep searching for the truth, for the origins of black people, you know, so that I can give me a better, a better point of view of life because it affects me in every aspect. So I start feeling better about myself. I start getting a look of it violent because I felt like the whole world lied to me. I felt like my teachers and my parents and everyone lied to me. So I got a look of it violent very uh, disturbed by the false information I was given to. But through uh, more research and I find out that everything comes from black, you know, and um, find out that the presence in South America of the black people is very strong. Uh, is they are the ones responsible for the development of the land, you know. It was never the Spaniards who brought language, who brought the the development of the land was never brought by, by the Spaniards, by the colonizer. You know, so that influenced me in a good and a bad way still. But um, like I was saying, that leads me now to, you know, to, um, to the consciousness I deal with today.